harnessing the power. It was a lofty goal the SRT managers tasked their team with when designing the 2017 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. Nines with light was the mantra, the car had to break into the nines and launch with daylight under the front tires. Basically, they wanted it to be the first production car to do a wheelie right off the showroom floor, all while still maintaining compliance with current OBD, emissions, and noise regulations. Oh, and it had to be durable enough to be sold with a warranty. We've covered the engine from a technical perspective elsewhere online, so this article we will focus on the power train which is every bit as essential in pulling off the wheelie as the 818 horsepower supercharged Hemi is. Maybe more so, in fact. To pull a wheelie, the car needed to be able to transfer 2,350 pounds from the front of the car to the rear wheels, and the engine needed to make at least 777 horsepower, given the car's roughly 4,200 pounds curb weight. In the end, of course, the SRT team achieved their goals. The car ran a certified 9.650 at 140.09 miles per hour at Gainesville Raceway on November 21, 2016, and the Guinness Book of World Records was present to witness a 2.92 foot long wheelie. This was achieved with the car running on 100 octane unleaded gasoline and with the optional front runner wheels installed. Before you cry foul, know that the car will still run 9.90s with the 315mm tires on the front and running on 91 octane gas. It's a serious performer right out of the box. What makes this possible? A fascinating combination of technology, electronics, and strong parts. The Demon can only be had with the 8-speed torque light automatic transmission, which also available in the Hellcat. The torque converter is unique, however, with upgraded internals that help it generate a higher stall speed and 18% more torque multiplication than the version in the Hellcat. The torque converter in the Demon is rated at 151k versus 137k in the Hellcat. For us non-engineers, k is a ratio that expresses the torque generating capacity of the converter based on the relationship between impeller speed and impeller torque output. The torque converter also includes a large, multi-plate lock-up clutch. The trans brake feature came about because the car was pushing through the brakes, especially with the skinny, front runner wheels installed. When activated, the trans brake applies the first and second gear clutch packs to hold the car stationary. The engine's torque management system then loads the engine with more aggressive spark timing and limits the amount of air bypassing the supercharger via the electronic bypass valve. This combination of increased boost and spark timing allow the engine to generate 534 pounds to foot of torque at the specified 2350 launch RPM. This is enough torque to generate 1.8 grams of acceleration force when launched. From there, Credit must go to the 315-40R18 drag radials, which offer a 15% larger contact patch and deliver 40% more force to the ground versus Hellcat. All these factors ensure that enough weight is transferred to the rear wheels, allowing the car to pull a wheelie. To avoid snapping half shafts and stripping teeth of the ring gear. Some sophisticated electronics are employed to limit the amount of torque being fed into the drivetrain on hard launches and during gear changes. The transmission employs a shift logic called AMAX, which determines the best shift speeds, from 100 ms to 400 ms, and momentarily limits the engine's torque output during the gear change to prevent damage and wear to the clutches. In addition, the rest of the driveline has received upgrades. The propeller shaft is 20% thicker than the Hellcat, 41's Klein 8 ball CV joints are employed, and the differential housing and ring gear are made with upgraded material and different heat treatment than the Hellcat. The rear axle ratio was changed from the Hellcat's 2.62 to 1 to 3.01 1. The PCM also uses wheel speed sensor information to detect wheel hop on hard launches. If detected, the engine's output will be limited to prevent from braking parts, 
which is easy to do when you consider the drivetrain is subject to nearly 11,000 pounds to foot of force on a max power launch. We will continue to bring you more information about the demon, including first-hand impressions from the driver's seat soon. You don't want to miss this. Random Demon Factoids Engine blocks are torque plate honed at the factory prior to assembly. At max power, the Demon sees 135 bar of cylinder pressure. Under the same conditions, the Hellcat is making 110 bar. One bar is equivalent to one atmosphere, or 14.7 pounds per square inch of pressure. The Demon is built with more cylinder to wall clearance because the engine makes more boost and generates more heat. To keep the pistons cool, the Demon's piston oil squirters direct twice as much oil off the underside of the piston crowns than the Hellcat. At max power, the pistons see a compressive load of 11 tons on the power stroke, and 3.5 tons of tensile load after TDC on the exhaust stroke. To keep the Demon's engine development a secret, SRT engineers recalibrated their dynos to read 707 horsepower at the engine's peak, so it would appear that a regular Hellcat engine was being tested.